Hi guys, Elder Squads here and welcome to my tutorial today. Firstly, I'd just like to say I'm sorry for not posting many tutorial videos, but recently I've been focusing on my gameplay videos. Uh, but now I'm back doing some tutorials and I've had so many messages um, from people asking to do a tutorial on how to make our own Minecraft server. So I thought, well, let's do that. So I'm going to give you a quick breakthrough of what this tutorial is going to be about and then we'll get started. So firstly, I'm going to show you guys how to create your own Minecraft server on a Mac. Um, then I'm going to show you how to test it on your own local IP address. And for people that have already port forwarded and know how to port forward your internet connection, I will then also be showing you how to access your server on your public IP address. So that public IP address is going to be the address that you give to your friends to, for them to be able to join your Minecraft server as well. If you don't know how to port forward or even know what port forwarding is, then I suggest either looking on YouTube on how to port forward on Minecraft or just wait a couple of days and I'll be hopefully posting a video or another tutorial on how to port forward your Minecraft server as well. Okay, so let's get started. There's going to be two main programs we're going to use on the Mac today. We're going to be using Terminal because there's going to be a little bit of coding involved. Not a lot and I'm going to make your life and make it a lot easier for you. Um, and also text edit, which is also another program that's on the Mac. Alright, so let's get started. First thing you'll need to do is you need to head over to the minecraft.net website and click on the option here where it says download here. And then we're going to need this file here, Minecraft Server 1.8.8 Jav, which is a Java file. So if you click on that, we'll download that now. Also make sure that the server file, which is one, it says here version 1.8.8, is the same as the version you're running on Minecraft. So your best bet is to obviously update Minecraft to the latest update, which obviously is 1.8.8. And then use the Java file that coincides with that. Okay, so I think this is downloaded. Let's just check. Yep, so this is downloaded here. Okay, we'll take this one here. So here's a Java file that you'll be using to create your Minecraft server. So the best option is to create a new folder and call it something like my Minecraft server. And then we're going to go and move this file over to into the folder that we just created. Okay, the next part requires a bit of coding. So let's go through this slowly and I'll show you how you do this. Uh, the coding that you'll need will all be in the description. So like when I say in a minute, you just copy and paste it over into text edit. So we need to get text edit up. So type in text edit, enter. So wait for text edit to come up. Just a new document. Okay, so this is on rich text format. So we don't want to do it on rich text format. We want to move it over to plain text. So you click on format up here and then make plain text. Make sure that is always the case, otherwise it's not going to work. Okay, so you can just now go and copy and paste the coding that I've already put in my description. Um, and let me just tell you a little bit about this coding that we're going to do. So basically, we're going to we're going to create a command file uh, for terminal to be able to give permissions to this Java file. Um, yeah, so certain 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 permissions. I'll just run through what they are. This is the RAM. So this whatever you set this to will um, allow however amount of RAM for this server to run. So as it says here at the moment, it's on one gigabyte, so one G. Um, if you wanted to change it, you could, for example, if you wanted 500 megabytes, you just type in 500 and then capital M. And you have to do the same for this one, 500, capital M. Obviously, 500 won't be a lot. To, it also depends on how many players are going to join your server. The more players you want to join your server, obviously, the more RAM you're going to need. Um, but I can get away with 2 gig just. And I'll show you. how you can find that out. So if you go to the little Apple, Apple icon here and you click on about this Mac, 
Um, it tells you here how much memory you have, so this is your RAM here. So I have 4 gig RAM and I can just about get away with 2 gig RAM for the server. Obviously you don't want to go full, you don't want to put the full amount of your RAM in because you're, and then your computer is not going to work. So I'm putting 2 gig in and my computer performance will probably suffer because of that. However, the Minecraft server will not. But if you had like one, 1 to 2 to 3 players, 1 gigabyte should be fine, even maybe up to 4 players. You just have to test it out and go from there. So I'm going to do it as 2 gig. Uh, but I have done one gig before and that has worked as well. Right, so now we've finished the coding. So, oh no, we have no. My bad, my bad. Also, this here, this here is the actual the Minecraft Java name here. So you need to make sure that this is the same <clears throat> as this. So let's type in dot one point eight dot <coughs> eight. Dot jar, so that should be the same now. Minecraft underscore server dot one dot eight dot eight dot jar. Yep, so uh, that will obviously now recognize that file and hopefully run it. Uh, this no GUI, you can also get rid of that if you wanted to. Uh, basically, what that means is, is there's no um, extra gaming, in, uh, gaming into uh, utility interference uh, interface. Sorry, um, because obviously, if you launch that, another window comes up. As well, but if you put this in, it will just launch every time in terminal. And I personally think that's the best thing because it's another less window that you have to worry about. All right, so that's coding's all done now. So let's uh, file, save. Let's just save this to the desktop, and you need to save this as start. Dot command. Uh, create a dot command file. Um, so let's save that to our desktop and move that in. So let's save that. I think that's saved, so we can go ahead and close that down now. That's it. So let's drag this across into here. Okay, so now we've created the uh, start.command file. We now need to give it permission to actually run the script itself. So you need to go head over to Spotlight over here and type in terminal. Wait for terminal to come up. Right now, terminal has launched. Right, we need to type in C H mod so C H M O D space A plus X and make sure you do another space after that or it's not gonna work. So once you've done the other space, you drag the command file into the terminal here, like so, and press enter. So that's now given uh, it permission to actually run the script itself. So we can go ahead and close that down now. Right now, let's test out the uh, stop the start dot command file. See if it works. So just double click on it, and it should start the Minecraft jar, which is over here. And there we go. And it says uh, it stopped because uh, we need to agree to the EULA. So let's just close that down for now. So now you've realised that some other things have popped up as well. So now we need to open up this EULA. As a text file, which is basically uh, the terms and conditions that you have to agree to before you can actually create the server. So if you just remove where it says false and type in true, and then file and save. So that should be saved now. So let's go ahead and launch the start.command again. There we go, it's preparing the spawn area. Like so, and that's done. Uh, so now the server's up and running. Um, you need this on every time that you obviously go onto Minecraft, otherwise, because this, this here, this one window is your actual server. So if you close that down, obviously, it's not going to work. Um, let's just go through a couple of things quickly. Um, the server dot properties if you click open that with text edit um, this is like basically all the properties obviously as it says the properties of all the uh, all the properties of the server so you can change uh, many options here via this I'm not going to go through this in much detail um, but yeah you can change like the difficulty uh, one being the easiest two being the medium and three being hard and I think four is creative I'm not too sure but 
what you have to go through that yourself. So let's close that down. Um, so yeah, now we need to find out our local IP address. So if you go down to System Preferences and you go to Network, and your IP address is here. So 192.168.0.8. So let's go ahead now while the server's up and running, let's go ahead and open up Minecraft. Okay, let's click play. Okay, so let's click multiplayer. Uh, that's one of my older private servers, so let's not worry about that. Let's add a server. Let's add our new server now. Um, so we call it whatever we want to. We just call it Minecraft server, or should we let's change that. Let's call it YouTube test. And your server address, which you got from your system preferences here, which would be 192 for me, 0 0.168.0.8. And click done. And there it is, the YouTube test. Let's join the server. And it will come up here saying that LD Squads has joined the game. So let's move that across. So this is our server here. Jumping up and down. Here we go. It's our server. It's 2 gig RAM. Job done. Right, so let's uh, disconnect that now. And if you've added the server, obviously it's always going to stay there as well. Right, so let's cancel that and close Minecraft down. Okay, so it says LD Squad's left the game. Now, every time you want to stop the server, so obviously save the server as well, save all the information in the server, you just go into the actual server window here and type in stop and press enter. And it saves the chunks and it's logged out, so now obviously you can close that down. So yeah, that's how you create a server on Minecraft um, on a Mac and that's how you test it on your local IP address. Um, so for people that don't know how to actually port forward, this is the end of the video for you, I'm afraid. Um, but for the people that do know how to port forward or already have port forwarded their Minecraft server to allow other people to join your server, I'm going to show you how now to actually um, get your public IP address and give it to your friends and let them play on the server as well. So, what we need to do is we'll launch the server again. So we'll start it. Style. So the server starting up. Obviously, for you guys that have port forwarded, make sure that your port forward because it's on the Minecraft server is on two five five six five. So make sure you've actually port forwarded to two five five six five. Otherwise, that will not work. And for people that don't know how to port forward, just stay tuned for a video, uh, one of my videos that will teach you how to port forward, or just go online, there's loads of videos on uh, how to port forward as well. Okay, so for everyone that's port forwarded, you need to now find your public IP address, and to do that, it's very simple. Head over to Safari, uh, go onto Google, and type in my public IP address, like so. Now this is your public IP address, and if you remember when we were testing on the local IP address, this would be exactly the same, you just put this number in instead. Okay, so we've port forwarded to uh, the port of 25565, and now we want to join our actual public online game. So if we head back over now to Minecraft, so make sure the server's running, yep the server's running. If we go back into Minecraft again. Just wait for it to load up. Right, so we're now going to try and join the server using our public IP address. So like I said, if you've port forwarded, um, you want to give your public IP address to all your friends that want to join um, the server, and they'll be able to do that wherever they are. Um, so right, let's add a server. We'll call it this one Minecraft or this one Port Forward Public Server. Just for a name, Public Server. And now the server address is what our public IP address is. So it's 82. I can't remember it. 
82.13.195 and what's the last digit and 86 so dot 86 and click done and there you go there's the public minecraft server so we'll join that again just to show you it's all working okay so now this is your server but as a public IP address as well so you give your friends the public IP address and they can join it and play as whenever the server's on it obviously they add it to their server list so yeah that's it everything that's everything guys um, I hope this tutorial's helped I know there's a bit of coding but obviously I've gone through it with you step by step and it's actually not that difficult once you know how to do it um, so yeah I hope you enjoyed the video and get creating your own servers guys Cheers, and I'll be back for another tutorial soon. See you later.